increase in demands on animals caused by the ongoing growth of the human population have led to an increase in animal migration and trade. The One Health approach addresses many different public health issues which may emerge, including antimicrobial resistance, environmental health, food safety, mental health, vector-borne diseases, and zoonotic diseases. Understanding the importance of implementing the One Health approach, the government and people of Taiwan donated a veterinary PCR analyzer to the Agricultural Ministry for the purpose of testing for African swine fever and other viruses. Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chien Chen, says his government is fully supportive of improving national disease management and epidemic prevention worldwide and will continue to collaborate with the government of St. Lucia to protect livelihoods. One Health Day brings attention to the need to recognize the interconnection between people, animals, plants, and their shared environment, and further address shared threats at the interface. Therefore, the donation of the equipment for detecting and analyzing animal disease such as African swine uh, fever, as uh, Chief uh, Veterinary Officer just mentioned, and from uh, Taiwanese company Gini Rich Biotechnology Corporation today is just in time. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, emphasizes the importance of ensuring that the relationship between plants, animals and people, as well as its impact on the environment, remains positive in order to fulfill the ministry's mandate to promote a diversified national income base from agriculture and fisheries, to improve food security and livelihood systems, and to promote rural development. He notes that the donation of the equipment is timely as the diagnostic facility seeks to build capacity and be in a better position to serve agricultural stakeholders. The rise in new and emerging diseases, most of which are animal origin, has taught us that as a small island developing state, we need to be proactive and take appropriate measures to protect our borders, safeguard our people, and preserve our agricultural systems. We are therefore extremely grateful to the Taiwanese government for the support, specifically provision of training and equipment to combat the threats of exotic animal diseases like the African swine fever. African swine fever is a major global threat to the swine sector and the Caribbean region is not exempt from the risk. I would like to thank the Taiwanese government and the Taiwanese mission for the training of four officers from the Veterinary and Livestock Services Division in surveillance, detection, and control measures, and this generous donation of a PCR machine to aid in the monitoring and surveillance of African swine fever. In the current era of globalization, where the emergence and re-emergence of unexpected sanitary events continue to accelerate, Minister Prosper encourages all partners to continue working towards the universal goal of sustainably optimizing the health of people, animals and ecosystems. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.